Hi, I'm Dr. Haley McDonald, a veterinary cardiologist based in California. Some of you may know me as the Rhythm Vet. Today we're talking about hypertrophic cardiomyopathy in cats. Did you know that feline cardiomyopathy affects approximately one in seven cats with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy or HCM being the most common form. HCM is a sarcomeric disease characterized by increased diffuse or regional ventricular wall thickness. The hypertrophy occurs in the absence of loading conditions, infiltrative disease, or metabolic stimuli. On clinical examination, some cats with HCM may exhibit a murmur, arrhythmia, or gallop rhythm, while others may have normal cardiac auscultation findings. Echocardiography is the most sensitive non-invasive method for diagnosing HCM and excluding other causes of myocardial hypertrophy. Classically, HCM is defined by end-diastolic echocardiographic measurements of ventricular wall thickness equal to or greater than six millimeters once other causes of left ventricular hypertrophy have been ruled out. Prognosis for cats with HCM is variable. Some remain subclinical and live normal lifespans, but approximately 30% develop severe complications, including left side of congestive heart failure, arterial thromboembolism, ATE, or sudden death. Despite extensive research, no current medical therapy has been proven to delay disease progression, improve quality of life, or provide a survival benefit in the subclinical stage of feline HCM. Recently, attention has been turned to delayed released rapamycin, which modulates the mTOR pathway for its potential to prevent or reverse cardiac hypertrophy in rodent disease models. The RAPACAT trial, a double-blinded, multi-center, randomized, placebo-controlled pilot study, evaluated both low and high-dose delayed-release rapamycin administered once weekly in client-owned cats with preclinical HCM. After six months, the maximum left ventricular wall thickness was significantly lower in the low-dose group compared with the placebo, and the treatment was well-tolerated. These findings suggest that rapamycin may exert antihypertrophic effects. A molecular study supported these results and also demonstrated beneficial effects on autophagy and potential antithrombotic properties. Clinically, these results indicate that delayed release rapamycin may help prevent or delay progressive left ventricular hypertrophy in cats with subclinical HCM. Further, larger scale studies are warranted to confirm and expand upon these findings. This has led to the initiation of the HALT HCM trial, a multi-center, blinded, randomized, placebo-controlled clinical field study conducted in cats with subclinical HCM over 12 months. This study is currently underway. In early 2025, the FDA granted conditional licensing for Sirolimus, the first drug with antihypertrophic properties for cats, under the formulation known as Felicin CA1. If proven effective in treating adverse cardiac remodeling, this therapy could offer veterinarians and cat owners a much needed option for managing ventricular hypertrophy in cats with subclinical HCM, marking a promising step forward in addressing this challenging disease. And now for some of the safety information for Felicin CA1. The most frequently observed adverse reactions in cats treated with Felicin CA1 were cardiovascular in nature, relating to the progression of HCM. Other adverse reactions observed were lethargy, vomiting, diarrhea, and inappetence. Treatment with Felicin CA1 has been associated with the elevation of the transaminase enzymes which include alanine aminotransferase, ALT, and aspartate aminotransferase, AST. Do not use Felicin CA1 in cats with diabetes mellitus. Pregnant and breastfeeding women should avoid contact with Felicin CA1. For complete safety and dosing information, please consult the package insert. Thanks for watching. For more CardioVet tips, follow me at The Rhythm Vet.